Welcome to the Cuckoo Smart Site Content Management page. As you can see, this is a form based website builder, so it should be quick and easy if you have all content at hand. We start off with the easy questions, things that you should know. Firstly, you need to add your name and your surname. Secondly, you must have your personal email address, since this will be used for your login details to the Smart Site Website Builder's control panel. Create your username in the next text block. You can make this whatever you like. And finally, create a secure password. On to the next section, which is the business details. To start off we add your company's name in the first block, and when done, click on the main service box, and wait for a second or two. If you already have a Google business listing, you will see that some magic has occurred in a few of the other input boxes, like telephone or business numbers, your current website's URL, and even your address, and Google My Business Listing, and Google Maps coordinates. We did say this is a smart builder, right? Now you need to add your main service, so if you are doing wedding photography, just try to give it one word or two keywords at most. Add or edit your business's telephone number and a cell phone number, and please note that these will be displayed on your website. You can now enter your business email, which is also displayable on your website, and this email will be used for your initial contact form. If you don't have a website yet, or if we could not retrieve this from your Google business listing, then you can add your business website address in the allotted box. Before continuing, please ensure that the website address, or URL, is in fact your website URL. Just below these details, we have added a section for total customers, which showcases to your potential clients that you are an established business. This can be just an estimate, or if you know the total customers you have to date, please add them here. The same applies to the number of total customers you have each year. Once again, an estimate will do. In the final text block on the business details section, you can add the year that the business was started. This is either the year that you registered the business or the year that you started in operation. Then we will go on to the next section, which is the business branding and main colors. You'll see that we have added a section where you can add your business logo and icon, or favicon as it is known in website design circles. From your logo, we can closely estimate the four predominant colors of your branding. Once the four colors have been selected, please edit these colors to match your logo, or company branding's color sheet if one is available. For optimum results, the primary color should be the main color on your logo. You may now fine-tune these colors that were generated and ensure your primary main color will be the brightest color of your logo. The secondary color should be your logo's secondary color, which should directly contrast the primary color selected. We do suggest keeping the body text color a dark color and the body background color a light color if you would like a light website and inverting this selection if you prefer a dark or a specifically colored website. But don't worry if you get this wrong, we do have ways to rectify this without having to start the entire design form from scratch. We also need to add our favicon, or business icon, in the box next to our logo. When you are happy with the four primary colors, and if both your logo and icon are displaying as thumbnails, we can move down to the address area and adjust the business's physical address in the next section. Here we have given you the options of editing or adding a street, suburb, city, and province. It is important to have these details 100% correct, as the address will display on your contact page, as well as at the bottom of all your website pages, and also determines your Google Map link automatically. Please provide a branch or department name for your contact page. If you have multiple branches, then don't despair, as you can add up to four additional contact pages at a later stage, so we suggest that you use this for your main branch and either enter a department name or a branch name. It's more professional to allocate a contact person for this branch or department in the next text box 
as this will provide your potential clients with an entry point to a real person, instead of just a general contact. We also suggest adding a title for this contact person, so that your clients know that they are contacting a person that is qualified to handle their query. Just below your contact text boxes, you will see that we have added a section where you can add special requirements or instructions for your contact page. This section is for providing special instructions to your clients, like contact us on WhatsApp or contact us during these hours, or this is our after hours number, etc. We have also added an automatically generated map on every contact page so that your clients can easily find your business. You will see that this map indicates the exact location of your business, however, if you would like to make changes to the marker, please make all your corrections on the business address area, and then the map will automatically change after a second or two. Our smart site is specifically made to get the latitudinal and longitudinal coordinates automatically from either your Google business listing, or the address that you have entered, or edited, and as such, changing the marker manually will automatically reset to the address you have provided. On to the search engine optimization keyword section, where we have provided you with five text boxes to add your top five keyword phrases. We do advise that you use either five main products or services that you offer as phrases. Please avoid adding a single word in the keyword boxes. Instead, add a phrase like wedding photography or roof spray painting, or if you offer car valet services, add the full keyword phrase, etc. Your keywords will also be displayed on your About Us page as a list of services that you offer and are used to automatically optimize your website for search engines. The About Us page's header details is a very short intro, where you can add a brief one, two, or three lines of content for your About Us page's header area. Keep in mind that this will be displayed over your About Us header image. Next, you can add your About Us page's header image, and the optimal image proportion for this would be about 1980 by 600. Remember that most people nowadays have an HD screen so try and use a high-quality image for this section. And that brings us to the actual content, which is the basis of building your website's home and About Us pages. You can select any of the top options, as they will change the layout slightly to provide you with your unique website. We also give you the final option of a full home page layout. This option will give you a fully customized website without our AI text, where your information will be added as the two paragraphs of content on the home page, as well as the entire About Us page, as follows. Paragraph 1 would be added as the first section of your home page, and paragraph 2 will be added as the second section of your home page. The final area of text would be displayed on your About Us page. So, let's start adding the content. For this tutorial, we will be utilizing our AI text generator, so please choose any of the top options. Please confirm that option with the next drop-down selector, and now you may start adding your content. We have provided you with three different areas of 8,000 words each to utilize any information you want to be portrayed on the About Us page. Every section will follow on from the previous section, however, if you fill in just the first section, there will still be enough content for your About Us page. The only exception to this rule is when you have selected the full home page option. It will be necessary to use up all three sections, as this content replaces our AI content on the home and About Us pages, respectively. The final part of your website is the social media area where you can now add all your links to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, etc. We have given you the option of adding 12 of the most popular social media links currently available. Once you have added all your predefined social media links, you can either add a final link as per our suggestions in the drop-down box or if you do have a Google My Business listing, leave the pre-entered Google Business listing link that we have already generated for you. You can now click on Upload Content and the majority of your smart site's basic website content will be completed. That is it for lesson one, 
and this shows just how easy it is to have your own professional website designed in under 60 minutes with our revolutionary smart site builder. In tutorial 2, we move on to the website images management page. On this page, you will be able to upload all the images for your website in one go. Before starting this tutorial, please ensure you have the following images readily available. For landscape images, around 640 by 480 pixels. Six portrait images, around 480 by 640 pixels. And 10 to 14 HD quality landscape images of 1920 by 1080 pixels. You may pause this video now or continue if you have the images on your laptop or computer. OK, let's start adding our site's images. First, we add the four landscape images, followed by the six portrait images, and we upload them into the respective upload images sections. We just click on Choose Files, navigate to where the images have been saved, select only four landscape or horizontal images, and click Upload. Now we will follow the same steps for the portrait images. Click on the Choose Files button, navigate to your folder where you have saved your images, select only six images and click Upload. It is important to note that only the amount of images that we have set must be uploaded, or else you will get an error. If an error occurs, or you feel like there are better images after viewing the preview, or if you notice that you have added too many or too few images, simply click on Choose Files again, and select either four or six images again. The images do not add when uploading, so in other words, you need to select all the images that you want every time you click Choose Files. This way the previous images are removed, and you add the images you want to be displayed on the site. Next, we are going to add 10 to 14 high-quality images for your gallery, your slideshow, and the call to action section. Let's add four high-resolution images now. The first three high-resolution images that are added are used for your slideshow, and the final fourth image is displayed on your call to action section. The process is the same as above, click on Choose Files, Navigate to the folder with your high residential images, select four images you want to upload, and finally click on the Upload or Open button to load the images to your site builder. The next 10 images can include the same four images you just added, or you can use different images for your initial gallery. You may add more images to the gallery at a later stage while adding or managing your galleries, but the initial 10 images are just to get your gallery populated. So we follow the same process again by clicking on the Choose Files button, then selecting your 10 images, and clicking on Upload, or the Open button to upload your gallery images. Now click on the Upload Website Images button at the bottom of the page. Wait a few seconds, and all the images will be automatically uploaded into the correct areas of the website and into the correct folders. Your uploaded images will be renamed so that they are automatically optimized for your website by using your main service as the image name that we added on the first page. That concludes the website images tutorial. If you have completed the design form and the images form, then you have successfully designed your entire website in under 60 minutes and with no coding skills, design skills, or website development knowledge. You will now be redirected to the login page where you will be able to log in once an admin has approved your site membership so that you can view your website control panel and either manage or edit your website or even add more pages to your site. If you would like to enhance your website even more, you can now carry on with our tutorials where we show you how to add more pages, manage galleries and blogs, and even add specialized pages to your site. We do recommend completing the rest of the tutorials before attempting to manage your site, as all tutorials take less than an hour to watch, and you can always come back and refresh your memory if you get stuck, that is why our tutorials are purposely created to be short videos per page. One of the greatest features for all of our clients is our revolutionary smart blog creator. 
We have added four free smart blog posts for each smart site system which will basically enable you to generate blog posts automatically. The AI behind the smart blog post creator is extremely advanced. You only need to add the main keyword phrase and five subkeywords and your smart blog post will be generated automatically for you. Keep in mind when adding your smart blog post that you must keep your keyword phrases relevant and they must enhance your main keyword phrase. Adding the main keyword phrase like I love apple and then using subkeywords to define that phrase like either fruit or phone, will provide a completely different result. It is best to use more than a single word in the main keyword phrase. Secondly, add all five keyword phrases in the boxes below. So let's start, in this example, we will be using preparing your roof for painting as the main keyword phrase, and roof painting as keyword phrase number one. Your second keyword will be roof preparation. Next, we will add keyword number 3, roof spray painting. We will then add high pressure washing as our fourth keyword. And finally, we add our fifth keyword, applying roof paint. I think our keywords really describe what we want our blog posts to be about. Once we've added all our keywords, all we need to do is click on the create smart blog post and all the magic will happen behind the scenes. You will see that retrieving your smart blog post has started. Please wait until complete runs from 0 to 100%. This will take roughly 2 to 3 minutes. So through the magic of computers and video editing, we will jump forward until our smart blog post has been created. So, there we have it. Our smart blog post creator has now created our first smart blog in under 3 minutes. All we need to do now is read through the created post, make any edits to the text, and add an image or two. Once we are happy with all the content, we can quickly do a spell check. We have a spell checker on the HTML editor, but we also use the Grammarly add-on to check for grammar on the fly, as this is a free and no-hassle solution to editing your content. So, once we are done, we just need to click on the Submit button. As you can see, you do not need to spend hundreds or thousands a month on a copywriter to create copy for your site as our smart blog post creator can do all this work in 3 to 5 minutes. After your initial 4 smart blog posts have been added, you can then purchase more smart blog posts from as little as 85 rand instead of paying 500 to 1750 rand per blog post, which is currently the going rate for a copywriter in South Africa in 2022. You can repeat this step until you have added all the initial smart site blog posts that we have provided for you. Our next tutorials will cover more ways to enhance your smart site even further.